Hi everybody, my name is Angie Menendez. I'm a personal trainer with Renaissance Club Sport in Aliso Viejo. And on behalf of the Club Sport and Formula 3 family, I'd like you to welcome to you to a 40 minute strength workout. We'll be doing body weight um, strength for the first part of the workout. And at the very end, we're gonna end with an upper body burnout that you can use canned goods, bottles of wine, or real light weights for. So if you're ready, you can join me here. We're not gonna be getting our heart rates up today. The focus really is on strength and conditioning. It'll be full body um, and I'll be offering modifications as we go. So we're going to go ahead and get warmed up. Back myself up here. And in order to get warmed up, we're going to start with our feet hip distance, a little bit further hip distance apart, toes turned out. And I'm going to have you guys squat down, reach forward, and I'm going to have you come all the way up and round those arms up. So you're going to squat and reach and you're going to round right here. And so as you do that, I want you to push the ground away, squeeze your glutes, and I want you to start thinking about the upper body just warming up, getting a circle, I'm getting the shoulders ready. Reach it forward, stand up tall. As you stand up tall, I want you to start to pull the inner thighs together. And I want your glutes nice and tight. So from the side view, you're here. And you're all the way up. Good, you guys got four more here. So the whole focus today, we're gonna work every muscle of the body. And we're going to do 45 second intervals. So we'll work for 45 seconds. One more time. You're going to take your feet. You're going to go into a reverse kind of runner's lunge. This back leg stays straight. That hip is going to open up and you're going to reach forward. So we're going to have three blocks of work, three exercises in each block. So we'll do lower body. We'll do upper body. We'll do core. Those exercises will be performed for 45 seconds with a 15 second rest. And we'll do those twice. So we're going to do all three blocks of exercises. We'll do those twice through. And at the very end, like I mentioned before, we have a upper, an upper body burnout of the triceps, shoulders, and biceps. So some of our pretty muscles here. So one more time on each side. And the whole idea right now is just to kind of get the body temperature increased, get the joints ready to work. So now I'm going to go into like a side lunge position. I'm going to slowly shift my hips back. And because of the room I'm working in, I'm going to do one side right now. You can alternate if you want. Just shift your hips back. Open up that inner thigh here for me. And shift back. So you'll notice my back stays straight. When I go into this, I'm not hunched right here. So shift the hips back. And do two more right here. So if you're alternating, you're going to keep alternating. But i got to work on my other side. So I'm going to step out and go here. So shift. And so right now I'm trying to get my hips, my adductors, my inner thighs warmed up. Shift, and we're gonna do four more. And you notice I'm shifting first and then I'm bending my knee. So my hip goes back and then my knee bends to, to respond to that. I'm using this inner thigh here on my standing leg to help pull in and get warmed up. You got two more here. And then you're gonna bring your feet a little bit wider than hip distance now, right here. And you're going to take yourself into a low squat. I want you to come down low. And I'm in a plie type position. I'm going to pulse here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to come up. Whoops. There we go. I'm going to come up onto the balls of my feet. But I'm going to work a little bit quicker. So I'm going to pulse and I'm going to explode. I'm going to pulse. I'm going to explode. So now I'm going to get my calves involved and reach up. Good. Down and up. Good. Four more of these. And I'm going to ask you to stay down low in that squat, okay? Three, two, good. Now, a last one here. Can you come down low, right here? And can you just give me a couple pulses? Let's do eight, seven. We're not, we're not gonna be done, so don't want you to come out of this yet. Let's start to warm up these quads and let's get the glutes nice and fired up. Three, two, now can you hold down? And can you take your knees and just pump them back? Pump, pump, do me um, eight more. Eight, seven, six, Five, squeeze, four, come lower, three, two, and one. Shake it out, good. So warm up, everything should be kind of slowing by now. I'm gonna set my timer, 45 seconds on, 15 second break. We're gonna, again, three exercises that we're gonna go through twice, and then we'll take a full break. Everybody good so far? Thumbs up, awesome. Okay, our first exercise. Again, I'm using body weight. If you want to add weight, I will show you some options 
right here. So here's a weighted option for this. We have a squat with oblique crunch right here. So here's your option. I know some of you guys got some new home weights and you're probably dying to use them. I want to keep it body weight only for myself today. 45 seconds here. Take your fingertips behind your head, come down low, and elbow to opposite knee. Now my heart rate will start to increase. I can already feel it. And it's going to do that the faster I move through this. So I want you to think about powering up, twisting over, shifting those hips back before you bend the knee, guys. So this is not a bending. I'm not here. I'm here. My butt's going far back. Good. Keep going. 15 seconds. Now, every time you bring the elbow to opposite, now I want you to exhale. Shh. Right here. Shh. I'm sure you guys have all been doing that to the kids lately. Just shh. Keep going. Shh. Remember that forceful exhalation will really get those abs involved. Last one each side. And shake it out. That's exercise one. You're going to come down onto the mat, onto the ground, wherever you're at. And what we're going to do, we have upper body and core for the next exercise. So hands are going to come right underneath the shoulders. You have four slow mountain climbers. So they're real slow. You really rock those, rock those hips up and in. Drive that knee in for four, three, two, and one. And you have a push up right here. Just a regular push up. So your hands for this under the shoulder, maybe out a tiny bit so you can get that, those pectoral muscles really engaged. You can be four climbers on three, real slow. Breathe two, breathe one. Now one push up right here. That's your move right here. Four, abs in three, breathing out two, nice and strong. Last one, give me a push up. Try not to beat me with these mountain climbers. Treat each one like a little individual mini reverse crunch. Push up right here. Couple more of these. Exhale out when you bring that knee in. Exhale out right here. One push up. You have 10 seconds left. These push-ups can be done here, no problem. Good, one more time. Last one here, last push-up. Stay down on the ground, guys, for me. You're gonna come here, and for abs, even though we just worked abs, right? We're gonna work some more abs. What it's gonna look like is I'm gonna go into this side little crunch. I'm gonna come onto my back. I'm going to bring my elbows into my knees and I'm going to shift on that opposite hip and I'm going to bring myself into that oblique crunch. I'm working back and forth from a side to a flat crunch right here. Okay. 45 seconds. So I'm going to start on my side. The top arm though is going to go behind the back of the head. Bottom arm is going to stay down, help give you some balance support right here. So this is too much. Your feet can stay down and you can go right here. You can come up to a little crunch to get your belly button and then reach across that opposite knee. This is another way to perform this without rocking back and forth. So pick the poison that makes sense for you and then make sure you're including your breath. As you perform this, exhaling through the effort. So every time your knees come in towards that chest, you got a little exhalation going on here. Do one more here. And then come on down. That's your first block. Those are your first three exercises. You guys all doing great? Let's do it all again. Go ahead and come on up. So now you know what to expect. I'll work a little faster through the second one. So we have the squat with oblique twist. We have the four slow mountain climbers with push-ups. And we have the moving, the moving um, ab crunches my fancy name for them, okay? 45 seconds, so grab your weight. Do you wanna add weight to that lower body for the oblique crunch? If not, you're with me right here. Down, shh, right here. Again, thinking power through this. And the lower you go, the harder you're forcing the lower body to work. So you can also just be right here. If you need something a little less intense, if you're new to this, that's totally fine too. If not, you're going from low to high, pushing through the whole foot and squeezing the glutes at the very top. Exhale. Good, you guys look good, I see it. 
Keep going, trying to get a lot of abdominal work here through this first block of work. You got four, three, two, and one. Shake it up. Coming down onto your mat or onto your ground, onto your carpet, wherever you're working. I'm already sweating, huh? Okay, so remember your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. And you're gonna go into those four slow mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, push up. One, two, three, four, push up. I'm telling every time, shh, you're kind of tucking those hips under, using those abs to help draw that knee in. Those elbows flare out into the back of your body here. Don't forget you can do this push up right here on your knees. That totally works too. Come up to your toes for those mountain climbers. You have about 10 seconds left of this. If you need to, your knees drop down, but you stay in that position right here. Nice long spine right there. Last one here. Good, and last time with that push up. Come on back. Stay onto your back, come on. For that last set of those alternating crunches right here. Remember your options, right? You can do this right here and not have to move if your low back doesn't like something like this. All right, ready? So I'm gonna start right here. Give myself a little side crunch. Elbows into the knees. And I'm rocking over using my hips as my pivot point right here. So I'm also using that low, that bottom arm to help support me so I don't have to Stay fully balanced in this position. Keep going. You should feel nice and warm through your midsection at this point. You have 15 seconds to go. Working at the speed that makes sense to you. All right, don't worry about how fast I go. You do you. Good, four, three, two, and one. Block one is history. You did it, guys. Good job. We're going to move on to our second block. So what we're going to do, again, anytime you want to add weight to this, I would place them like kind of up here in your shoulder trap area. What it's going to look like is our first exercise. Remember, we have three exercises, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds to uh, change to the next. We have low rotating lunge with plie. I'll explain that. We have another push-up exercise. I'll explain that. It's a blast off the push-up which will work our low body and our upper body. And then we're gonna do some side plank work. All right, let's get working here. I'll show you what it looks like. You're gonna come nice and wide in your stance. You have a plie squat. You're gonna turn your body. You're gonna lunge. And then come back to plie. You're gonna turn your body the other way. So this is kind of like the basic move. Now, you wanna make this more challenging, weights come here. Or some of you might wanna join me here. You stay low, so you're here, down, in here and down. So you're plieing and lunging without coming out of it. So those are kind of your options. You pick the intensity that works for you and your goals for today's workout. All right, so come, and come down low, timer starts now. So here, I'm gonna stay low, that's my option. Some of you may be coming up out of it each time, that's totally fine. We're making sure your feet turn with you each and every time, right? So feet, are gonna point in the direction of your lunge, and you're working through that back leg right here. Good, lots of warmth and happiness starts to build in the legs. You have 15 seconds here. Looking good, guys. Can you go and stay lower? If you're staying low with me. Looking good, I love it, keep going. Three, two, and shake it out. That did the trick. I think there's some warmth there. Feel it. Okay, come down into your push up position again. But this time we're gonna add blast off. And all that means is that we're gonna continue to focus on our quadriceps right here, the fronts of the legs, um, while we perform our push up. So, a couple of different options for you. Feet will kind of come hip distance apart. So, you're starting in this push up position. You're gonna reach, you're gonna crouch back. Trying to bring your, your glutes down to your heels. Come back up and push up. 
So that's the hard version right here. So you can crouch back and you can come here, drop the knees and perform that push up. You pick what makes sense for you and we'll go 45 seconds. Let's do this guys. So reach it back. So really try to reach those heels back. I'm sorry, your glutes back all the way back to your heels if you can. Definitely challenging, especially coming off of those low lunge, that low lunge work that we just did. So the legs are nice and warmed up. I typically don't take the option to do push ups on my knees, but I notice that when I do, I get a lot more depth, right? So this is another way to help improve your push up is by actually dropping it down and really taking that chest all the way down. It's another way you'll build that strength. You're almost there. Give me the last push up right here and sit it back. Stay down on the ground now, okay? So that's our upper body. Now we got core. So what's gonna happen for some side plank work, I'm gonna have you come onto your bottom elbow and bottom knee is gonna stay down, okay? So you're gonna reach. We're gonna do one side for 45 seconds. The next time we go through this, we're going to do the other side, okay? So it's going to look like this. Arm extends, top leg is nice and long. We're going to bring it in and extend my foot. is no longer touching the ground in between sets. And I'm going to reach a straight arm reach right here. So you got a little crunch and you got a straight arm. Now, this may not work for you. You can come down Jane Fonda style and you can do the same thing right here, okay? Coming up and being lifted just is going to work this inner oblique a little bit more. It's the whole thing. It's the only difference. Okay, let's get started. Reach. Knee to opposite. I need that same elbow, and then straight arm, straight leg. Right here, crunch. Straight arm, straight leg. Remember, we're just doing this side for forty-five seconds, and then we'll switch into the other side at the end of our at the end of the block. Right. You're about halfway there, guys. Are you using your breath? Exhale and reach. Exhale and inhale. Good guys, looking nice. I know, side planks are just the worst. That's why I always try and program something like this in. Because I know you're not doing it on your own, right? You're almost there. You got three, two, and one. Come down. Let's go back to the top of that block, starting with those low lunges. Again, adding weight if you'd like. I'm going to stay weightless, uh, but working really low. That's my choice. Okay. Come down low into your plie. Let's do this. Down and twist. Remember, we're kind of at the top of the second block. We can work really quickly through the exercises. And in doing so, it will help increase the heart rate a little bit, which is good. Go ahead, reach. So I'm trying not to come out of the plie or out of the lunge fully. Lots more time under tension is, uh, where this comes in handy. Okay, you have 15 seconds. Can you stay a little bit lower? Drop that back knee. Almost hover it off the ground, guys. Four, three, two, and one. I promise you, after this set of push-ups, there's no more push-ups today. So I feel like since this whole thing began on all these home workouts, I've been doing a lot more push-ups than normal. So silver lining, we're all getting stronger with our push-ups, right? Come on down. We have a blast off to push-up. Remember, options here would be here, coming all the way back into that blast off position and performing the push-up on your toes or coming down to your knees for that push-up. Okay, 45 seconds starts now. So shift back, last forward, lower down. You're absolutely going to take a break now that you're doing this. So I want you to really think about pulling them in. And they're braced super duper tight right here. Good. If you want to work on that push up depth, coming down to your knees, lowering the chest all the way down. To the ground. That lowering portion happens evenly. So you're going to take the whole body down together, not leading with the head or leading with the hips. Right here. Last two. Last one. Right here. Onto your side. 
making your transitions pretty quickly. Let's see. So now we got to work our other side and that side plank here. Move my timer. Okay, so remember bottom knee, bottom elbow down. Stay lifted, lots of extension. You have a crunch, knee to elbow, and then you have a straight arm, straight leg. So elbow to knee, straight arm, straight leg. Exhale, reach and exhale. Good guys. Exhale and reach. Your breath makes a big difference. Make sure to keep this hip lifted up and try to keep your shoulders out of your ears. Good guys. Can you go for about 10 seconds? So close. We'll be done with block two. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. I love it guys. Good job. Let's see here. Okay, we're gonna actually be on the ground for all three of our exercises in block three. You guys doing okay? Okay? Nice, I love it. Okay, so here's where a couple options present themselves, okay? I have a loop. I'm gonna put it around my, I'm gonna bring it up over my knees right here. And this is just to add intensity because we're gonna be working in the bridge position. Another way you can add intensity, and I'm doing this for some of you guys who are in really good shape already and want the added challenge. Do not feel pressured to do this at all. Just to doing a regular bridge is gonna be enough as well. Um, if you wanna add even more intensity, you can take your weight and you can nestle them into your hips. Okay, so well, my option, but we have a 45 second set of bridges. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of intensity by pushing on the outside of my, of my beyond right here, okay? So you're gonna lift and squeeze and then lower down. <laughs> Lift and squeeze and lower down. So as you lift up, I want you to push through the heels and I want you to try and keep your knees over your middle toes, okay? So I don't want the knees to cave in and that's why having a looped band can help. It gives my body some cues, some, some uh, cues to kind of push on the outside of the band here. So as you come up, squeeze as tight as you can go. You can make any exercise hard with mind-muscle connection, with working through full range of motion, and with holding things even longer. So you might be holding it at the very top here for a couple good seconds. Keep going. We just passed 45 seconds. I'll go ahead and stop my talking and stop thing right here and come on down. Remove the weights, remove the band. Stay on the ground for me, please. You're gonna flip all the way over. We're gonna work our back and we're gonna do a Y raise. So when you go into kind of the super person, super woman position, nose is gonna be down to the mat and I'm gonna tuck my hips under and squeeze my butt nice and tight. That's my starting position right here. So I'm not fully, I don't have a ton of it, ex excess extension in that low back. Instead, my glutes are fired up. They're real tight, hamstrings are engaged. In this area, my extensors are nice and tight as well. I'm gonna, make my, I'm gonna make the letter Y. I'm gonna lift my hands and my feet off the ground for 45 seconds. Ready? Timer. And go. My nose faces down. And I'm doing this by leading with the hands and the feet first, squeezing into my back. Come all the way up. And so you can start to take those hands and make a big letter Y. You have that flexibility and strength. Or you can also just stay right here in more of a traditional superwoman, superman pose. So take the option that makes sense. You're 30 seconds in. You do this for 40, or I'm sorry, for 15 more seconds. Lift. Good, you're still breathing. You're exhaling every time you lift. You got four, three, last one here, two. And one, sit it back for a second. Child's pose to open up that low back. And then you're gonna flip it over onto your back, please. So your feet are gonna go on the tabletop. You're gonna move from tabletop to leg extension, to knee extension right here. So you're gonna be working from here. When your legs are on tabletop, you're gonna reach towards your ankles. You're gonna bring your arms straight back and you're gonna extend your legs and reach for your toes. 
Do you have a low to high? I just call it a low to high crunch. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the word, it's kind of what we're doing here. 45 seconds. Every time you come up, can you look at your belly button? So I really want you to concentrate on making a big curve into your spine. And the arms are straight. You can lose the straight leg portion of this if it hurts the low back, guys. There's no pressure there. You can just make this a tabletop crunch. But your targets are your toes and your ankles, kind of depending on where your feet are. And your targets for your eyes are those belly buttons. So you do that to try and kind of curve the spine to really promote spinal flexion here. Good. Exhaling every single time you come up. You're almost there. You've got three, two, and one. Transitioning to your second bridge. So go ahead and grab band, weights, or nothing. Slip that on here. Again, 45 seconds. Starts now. Take yourself, your feet are hip distance apart right here. Lifting and squeezing. Remember what we talked about, mind muscle connection. I'm working my glutes and my hamstrings. My core is tight, everything's knit together here. And you're pushing through the whole foot, guys. Let that whole foot stay connected to the ground. Knees are over, knees are tracking over those middle toes. And I add this for more outer glute or abduction work here. So I'm just trying to take my knees and push against the band. If I have weights here, that's just adding more tension, more, more uh, weight here to those hips for when we extend and work those glutes. It just makes it a little bit more challenging. That's, that's the point of doing that here. Good, we just passed the 45 seconds. I can do bridges forever. You guys are done with that. Over into your Y raise, turn it over. Remember, your hips are tucked under, nose is to the ground, making the letter Y with your hands, okay? So you're gonna lift and lower here, 45 seconds. You weave with the hands, making the letter Y. If it's too much, just make sure your lever is here a little bit shorter. The point of this is all back. So you're working your, um, you're working these lats, you're working your extensors, you're even working your glutes. And because your core is engaged, you get a little bit of abdominal work as well. The whole point of this right here. Good, you're almost there. Give me a couple more here. And sit it back for a second. All right, we have one more exercise before we go to our upper body burnout. So when you're ready, you're gonna come onto your back. And remember, we moved back and forth from low to high with our knees starting bent and then finishing in that extended pose here. Take your fingertips, reach them up overhead. You guys ready? Reach towards the ankles. And I forgot to look at my belly button there. It's my cue here, my belly button is where my eyes should be tracking each and every time. Inhale back, exhale. So even though I'm reaching for my toes, I want my eyes to be reaching towards my belly button every single time. Use your arms for some momentum if you need to. If not, just concentrate on exhaling all the way up, inhaling with that lowering portion here. Excellent, you're almost there, guys. You have five seconds. Let's see how many more you can get in. We're working. Last one here. Excellent. Okay. How are you guys doing? You guys okay? Okay. So now what's going to happen is you're going to grab either a set of small, like um, low, lower weight weights, lower weight weights. Okay, um, you're gonna grab canned goods or two bottles of wine. You can also do this with fists, right? So this is something that can be done with fists. We're gonna work biceps, triceps, shoulders. Um, my kind of three favorite muscle groups to work really. I have two burnouts planned. Um, I'm gonna be adding motion every 30 seconds for a two minute burnout and then we'll put the weights down and we're gonna shake it out and we do each exercise twice. So, um, and it looks like I'm actually on time for one. So I'm gonna start my yeah, 
Um, I'm scared to go heavier. I tried these last night and they get really heavy really fast. Every 30 seconds you're changing with me. So grab whatever you're going to use. I have a pair of five pound weights. Um, and we'll see how this goes. Okay. So 30 seconds, you're going to roll your shoulders down and back. I'm going to move it close to the camera. Okay. Roll your shoulders down and back and make a 90 degree angle with your elbows. Right here, open and close. So you're going to be like, this is so easy. What's the big deal? Why does she want me to lose light weight? So you're going to see that here. Every 30 seconds, we're going to add on to this move. This is our kind of baseline move here. Back up just so I can see my timer. <laughs> Good, guys. So I have like a slight bend in my knees. I've tucked my hips under, so I have a real strong core right now, meaning that it's braced. Okay, so now for the next 30 seconds, you're going to open up like you're opening the newspaper. You're going to press out and bring it in right here. Open, press out, press in. So I'm on that shoulder blades. You're going to pull in together, right? You're adding a little element of that back and pull okay. out and pull. And so you can evaluate if you do have weights at home. I'm thinking to myself, do I try my eights next time? We'll see. We'll see. We're going to do this burnout twice and then I have a tricep burnout twice. So we'll see how I feel at the end of that. All right. So come here. Push and pull. Now drop it down low and give me a wide bicep curl. Now close and open your newspaper. Push out, push in. Lower down into that Y hammer grip and in. That's your, you got three parts here. Push and pull. Down and up through that curl. Close the newspaper. Open it right here. I have a nice, oop, forgot my curl. <laughs> I have a nice extended chest. I have not rounded out in my spine. Down and up. Okay, our last 30 seconds is going to be, let's get one more of those push pulls. My last 30 seconds is this wide grip hammer curl. Just give me 30 seconds right here. This is it. So I'm starting to think maybe I'll try my eights next time. Although I am definitely feeling a nice burn here. Every time you come up, squeeze into those biceps. You have eight seconds, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, shake it out. That's burnout number one. The next burnout is gonna be on the triceps, all back of the arms. On this one, it is pretty much a pure tricep. We're gonna go from a kickback to a straight lift to a squeeze in, okay? So knowing if you're familiar with those type of moves, pick the weight. If you don't have weights, canned goods, or two bottles of wine, just when we do the squeeze, don't push them together, okay? And mama would be so sad. Okay, again, we're gonna be doing these tricep kickbacks in this hinged position. If it's too much on your back, you have a couple options. You can stagger, or you can come down to your knees. It just, just makes it, this will make the move a little bit harder, but it'll take a little bit of pressure off the back. All right, so give me 30 seconds, elbows up, shoulders relaxed, right here, hinge, and just start kicking back right here. So, every, your palms are gonna stay neutral on this one. And then what you're gonna do is every time you come back, I want you to squeeze into those triceps, all right? The whole point is to burn it out, to get them to the point that they're nice and tired. And you gotta add a little bit, bit of intensity here. All right, so you stay in that hinge position, the elbows are gonna stay up. Now I want you to do this, add me, add a, a straight arm lift. So we'll come down, straighten out, elbows up, clear up over the hips and kick back. Straight down, straight up and kick it back. Straight down, straight up and kick it back. There we go, adding on here. Then up and kick it back. So I'm, I feel like I'm fairly strong, I lift pretty heavy. With these type of burnouts, I'm gonna probably stay at five pounds for my next one. This is heavy. All right, now, ready? Straight arm. Kick it, squeeze it in. Oh yeah. Straight arm, kick it back, squeeze it in. Straight arm, kick back, squeeze it in. Oh yeah, I am feeling that. Straight arm, kick it back, squeeze it in. One more time, watch this. Can you just do 30 seconds? Squeeze, squeeze, don't hate me, squeeze. Can you relax your neck, relax those shoulders? Almost there. Elbows stay lifted, 
Keep going. You got 10 seconds. Oh, I feel this. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, and one. Holy cow. Arms jelly or is it just me? Jelly, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do each of those one more time and then we're gonna be done. Okay, you guys are doing amazing. Let me go ahead and set my timer. I'm gonna pick up a heavier set of weights for that burnout out that we did with the, um, the rotator cuff in the biceps. Pick your poison. Every 30 seconds it becomes a little bit more challenging right here. Tuck your hips under, roll your shoulders down and back nice and strong in those abs and open and close right here. As you do this, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Nice extension through that chest right here. Open, good. I already know I can't do this eight pound weight for those triceps, but this is feeling pretty good here. Again, always working at your own pace, not add that push pull. Out and pull in. Out and pull. Good, guys. Don't let the ass take a vacation. We want them pulled in. You need their support right now. You can even squeeze into your glutes, keeping everything nice and engaged. Excellent. Do one more all the way out. Now, next time you come out, you're going to add that Y bicep curl out and in all the way down all the way up so close and open that newspaper push out and in give me that bicep curl close and open push and pull curl it up and down down and up good and remember we just end with this wide bicep curl that's how we're going to do our last 30 seconds right now. So come on out, push and pull, just your bicep curl. Palms are still neutral. Give a hammer grip. So if I can do a hammer grip. You're tracking the top of that weight, the top of that can good, all the way to those shoulders right here. Last 30 is her last one. 10 seconds, guys. You guys look amazing. I love it. Keep going. Four. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. Yeah. Two minutes between you and the end. Good job. Okay, remember those triceps. Remember how we ended here. That is in your future. So pick up the right set of weights or go to those canned goods or those wine bottles. Okay, guys? Pick up the weights. We're starting with kickbacks for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Let's do this. So roll your shoulders down and back. Hips go back, your hinge, elbows are lifted. Right here, kick it and kick. Palms are neutral on this, which means that they're facing in. And continuing your breathing, abs are pulled in on this, they're nice and engaged. We're gonna add that straight arm lift here in three. Two, now remember, last one. So come down, lift, and kick it back. Come down, lift, and kick. Down, lift, and kick. Excellent, guys. See, it's not bad till we add that squeeze, right? That's how I'm feeling. I'm already kind of like, oh, who wrote this workout? Who am I deal with this? Up, and kick it back. Okay, let's add that squeeze now. Squeeze it in. You're not trying to press anything together. You're just trying to bring the weights a little bit closer. Lift with that straight arm. Kick and squeeze. Straight. Kick and squeeze. Straight. I'm in it with you guys. I know it's painful. It's a good burn though. We'll all be filling these triceps tomorrow. Okay, we gotta add our final burnout. I don't wanna do it, but we gotta straighten out those arms, squeeze, squeeze, right here. So I notice too, sometimes if I grip my weights too tight, my neck starts to really hurt. Relax your grip, you got five, almost there. Four, three, 
two, and one, excellent. You guys, so good. I'm super proud of you guys all. You guys did an amazing job. Again, on behalf of the Renaissance Club Sport and Formula 3 family, really happy that you joined us today for our strength and conditioning class. Until next time, we'll see you then. Take care.